Next, let's talk about look development with V-Ray. Currently, the lighting looks wrong. There are no shadows and no indirect illumination present. What I want to do is tweak the sun in my scene and see the effects it has on the lighting. Typically, this requires a pre-calculation of lighting, known as light baking, which is a time-consuming process. As you can imagine, multiple iterations will increase the overhead quite a lot. For situations like this, I can leverage V-Ray's interactive rendering to get a better representation of how my entire scene will look without having to do test bakes in my scene for every tweak. Before we start the interactive rendering, let's first go to the V-Ray toolbar and head to the settings. Here, if I go to V-Ray CUDA GPU device select, I can select the devices that I want to use. I can choose any configuration of all the CPU and GPU devices that I have. In my case, I want to disable the GeForce GTX 970 since it's connected to my main monitor and it's used by Unreal Engine. I'm going to use only my RTX 2080 Ti. Also, I'll leave the NVIDIA AI denoiser on to get faster preview with slightly less accurate results since I want only to set up my lighting. Ok, now I'll go to my V-Ray camera and start the IPR. I'm not happy with the lighting at the moment since most of the room is still dark and the sun's position is higher up than I want. I have a general idea of what the lighting in my scene should look like. So now I'm going to go ahead and make some changes to it. I'll select the V-Ray sun first and I'll tweak it a little bit. I want the sun to illuminate a bit more of the couch and also the painting on the wall. So first, I'll change the azimuth to minus 155 and decrease the elevation to 25. Now I'm getting more sunlight in my interior and it's much closer to what I want. Next, I will exit the camera and fly through the scene and I'll take a look at different areas of the room to check the lighting. As you can see, the interactive rendering really helps me save time when I want to change the lighting. I can edit in real time and see how my final light bake will look in the end without having to do test bakes in Unreal. Alright, as you can see, my shadows on the floor are a little bit too soft. So I'll change the size multiplier to 2. That will sharpen them a little bit. Basically, that will make the shadows from the plant on the window more defined. Once again, let's take a final look through our V-Ray camera and leave the progressive rendering to clean up a little bit before we stop it. This way, I can get a better feeling of the lighting in my scene once I bake it. Ok, I'm happy with the changes, so I'm going to stop the IPR, and we are going to move forward. 